And when she read our book about that we're going to have to deny ourselves, we can't do our will anymore. We've got to deny and take up that cross that's doing God's will completely and being faithful to do exactly what God says, not what we plan, what we want. She said, I knew that was the missing link. And when she told me, I received the witness of the Holy Ghost. Because the emphasis has been on getting people in, getting them to say, build the churches, get the folk in there. Listen, we've got to get back to where we walk with God. Walk with Jesus, follow him. He'll save all the people. He'll bring the kingdom in. He didn't tell her, he just said, follow me. Jesus said, follow me. And the longer I walk with him, I can see that we didn't know much what he was saying. That's not discouraging, is it? That's good. See, that's good to know. See, that shouldn't make us feel bad. I ought to say, praise the Lord, I'm glad now I'm supposed to follow Jesus. Well, how am I going to follow him? By getting tuned in. How do I tune in? By dying. How do I die? By waiting and letting him crucify me. How does that come to pass? Why well, surrender. How do I surrender? Be determined to wait on God. <laughs> Let God slay out of this old carnal nature and this old evil man in us. And let God refine us and let us make us into his likeness and form in Christ in us again. Form in you the Christ. 